Let's look at another example. Here's our expression 3 plus radical 6 over radical 3 minus radical 2. Thinking about can we do any simplifying of the fraction, remember we'd have to be able to divide evenly out from every term. And in this case, now we have 2 in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. Can we evenly divide the same thing out of all four of these terms? No, there's nothing that works for that. Can we simplify any of our radicals? We cannot simplify any of those. So now we have to rationalize the denominator. Observe that there are two terms, therefore we have to use the conjugate. We just want to use another radical 3 with radical 2, but we're changing our minus into a plus. We will always do the same thing to the numerator as we do to the denominator. So we make a choice based upon what we see in the denominator, but we always use the same thing to multiply in. We never make a choice based on the numerator. Now, two terms by two terms in both numerator and denominator, so we've got two FOIL multiplications that we need to do. Let's start with, well, the numerator will probably be a little bit messier. Let's start there. First, 3 times radical 3. Cannot multiply an outside with an inside. It's 3 radical 3. Outer, positive 3 times positive radical 2. Similar thing, 3 radical 2. Inner terms, radical 6 times radical 3. We can multiply those together, radical 18. Can we simplify that radical, radical 18? Yep, that's radical 9 times radical 2, and we know that radical 9 is a 3. We've, we're calling it 3 radical 2. Last terms, radical 6 times radical 2. Another pair of radicals that we can multiply together to make radical 12. We can simplify that radical. It's radical 4 times radical 3, so that's going to be a 2 with radical 3, 2 radical 3. After we've done these four multiplications, we are looking for any like terms to combine. We can combine terms if they have the same radical part. So outer and inner are like terms. They both have radical 2. We will add the coefficients, the number out front, 3 plus 3, 6 radical 2. There's another pair of like terms. 3 radical 3 with 2 radical 3 makes the 5 radical 3. Okay, that was all just in the numerator. These problems can be lengthy, but just stay organized and go slowly step by step. And that's how we stay on track. It's not a huge problem. It's many tiny problems. Let's talk about the multiplication in the denominator. We know that they are conjugates, and we know conjugates outer and inner always cancel. So we can actually skip those steps altogether. And we will eventually, but not right now. Let's still multiply those out just so we can see them being canceled. And in the future, we can safely skip those steps if we are sure that we have chosen the proper conjugate. Okay. First, radical 3 times radical 3 is 3. Outer, radical 3 times radical 2 is radical 6. Inner negative radical 2, be cautious there, negative radical 2 times radical 3, negative radical 6, there, there are those opposites, and last, negative radical 2 times positive radical 2. Okay, the radical 2 with another radical 2, 2, but be cautious, one positive, one negative. We'll make that answer negative. And I can tell you about conjugates that our last term will always be negative also, because that sign in the middle is going to be 1 plus 1 minus, so our last, we will always be multiplying a negative times a positive. So you can expect that last product to always be negative. Can we spot the like terms? Okay, yeah, we talked about those. They add up and equal 0, and the 3 with the negative 2 makes 1. So foiling these two interestingly enough, equals 1. What would you like to do with this fraction over 1? Well, I'd like to cut that over 1 loose 
and just hold on to the numerator, 6 radical 2 plus 5 radical 3. Now there's no, no fraction anymore, so definitely that part is finished. The radicals, can they be simplified? That's a no. And no, de no denominator, so no worries about rationalizing it. So we are finished. Um, a quick check that these aren't like terms that we could combine. One has a radical 2, one has a radical 3. We cannot combine, so that's how our answer must stay. Can we do a check? Yep, we can still do a check on these. Go back to your original expression and enter this into a calculator. And I might re recommend try this just to make sure that we're accurately using the calculator. It's going to require maybe some parentheses or doing these operations one at a time, but you need to be coming up with this decimal approximation, 17.146. If you're not reaching that, then consult someone who can help you enter these things properly into your calculator, if and when you need to use a calculator to do the, those things. Um, and our check is, go to our final answer, punch this in, will we get the same decimal approximation? Yes. Okay, now it doesn't prove that we did this problem correctly, it just shows that we haven't changed its value. And if we've done all these steps and managed to not change its value, then most likely we've done the correct steps.